First in our news, the Department of Foreign Affairs said three Chinese Coast Guard vessels fired off a water cannon on two Philippine ships to stop them from going to a Yungin Shoal in the West Philippine Sea. Take a look. DFA Secretary Teodoro Loxin Jr. said he protested in the strongest term this incident to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Beijing and even reminded China that the attacked Philippine ship is a public vessel and covered by the Philippine-U.S. Defense Treaty. In a statement, Loxin said the DFA received a report from the AFP Western Command that two Philippine supply ships doing routine transport of food supplies to Filipino soldiers were blocked and water cannoned while on their way to a Yungin Shoal or the Second Thomas Shoal located 194 kilometers west of Palawan. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but our boats had to abort their resupply mission, according to Loxin. He said, I have conveyed in the strongest terms to His Excellency Wang Shilian, Ambassador of China, and to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Beijing, our outrage, condemnation, and protest of the incident, according to the top diplomat. Loxin also asserted that the Philippines has sovereignty and jurisdiction over a Union Shoal as it's part of the Philippine territory, being an integral part of the Kalayaan Island Group and has maritime sovereign rights as it's also part of its exclusive economic zone and continental shelf. The acts of the Chinese Coast Guard vessels are illegal. China has no law enforcement rights in and around these areas and they must take heed and back off. He also reminded China that a public vessel is covered by the Philippine-United States Mutual Defense Treaty. Under the MDT or the treaty, U.S. is under treaty obligation to help the Philippines in case of an attack by a foreign aggressor within the Philippine territory in the Pacific area or on any Philippine public vessel. This is the first time that the Philippines publicly mentioned the MDT over an incident in the West Philippine Sea.